us know that we can make charts in Excel. But do you know that you can make charts in PowerPoint and animate them as well? Let's take a look at this. If I click on this show full time only button, I lose those columns. And when I say show everyone, I get them back nicely. Let's build this in PowerPoint from scratch. Add a chart using either insert chart button here or the insert chart button from the ribbon. Once your chart is set up, we want to add a couple of animations, one for taking off this part time series and one for showing it. So select the chart and then go to the animations ribbon and from here expand this out and essentially we are looking at either entrance or the exit animations. Let's add the exit one first. So go to exit and then either choose float out, fly out or anything for that matter. I like the float out one. When you add the animation, the entire chart floats out. So while keeping the chart selected, go to the animations pane, which will open up on the side. And while looking at this, go to the effect options here and instead of as one object, choose the by series option. This will basically float out each series one and then finally the chart again. So it now breaks the animation into three different animations and expand the animation from here. You will see all the three. So from these three, we want to keep the first one and then delete the other two. So select the individual bits and then hit the delete key to delete those animations. So now there is only one animation on this chart. And when you use this play from button, you'll see that only that series disappears. Let's repeat this, but we want to add back the series. So keep the chart selected and go back to the animations. And instead of this area here, use the add animation button here and then click on that and entrance and then again float it in. Again, this is going to float the whole thing as one object. So we want to keep one of these three. I don't remember which one it is. So I'm just going to play everything again just to kind of see what we have. So the third one is what we need because this is the last one that comes up. So keep just that and delete the others. Let's play everything now. It goes and it then comes back. That's what she said. All good. But this is not done. We also need two buttons through which we can control these animations. So we can go to the insert and then shapes and then select a rounded rectangle, draw two buttons on the screen. Add some text on these buttons. Next up, when I click on this show full time only button, I want to run that exit animation. This kind of behavior is called trigger. So select this animation, click on that little arrow and then go to the timing options. We can use this to set up a trigger. So here is the trigger option. If I expand this and then I can say start effect on click off, we can select the shape that will use this as a trigger. Unfortunately, when you go here, you don't really know which rounded rectangle is the one that we need to use. There is no information here. So before we come here, we need to do one other thing. So I'm going to cancel this out and go to home, select and then use the selection panel. The selection panel lists out all the objects on your slide. So when you select this rounded rectangle, you can see that this is called rectangle rounded corners number 10. Instead of such a generic name, you can double click and then give it a name that you want. So I'm going to call this as show F team short for show full time. And then the second rectangle show all. Now, when you go back to the timing options and expand the trigger start effect on click off, you can see that those names show up here. So we have got show FT and show all right now. I want to take out the part time information when I click on the show FT. So I'll add that click. OK. Next, we will go to the second animation, the one that is entering the things. And then for this, go to timing and set up this trigger as well. Beautiful. Now all the necessary triggers are set up. Let's test this out. So we have got this by default. And if I click on show full time, I lose those columns. When I say show everyone, I get these back. You can use the same idea with pictures and other line chart types too. For example, when I click on James's head, I'll see his trend. 
How awesome is this? Now, if you want to make a similar chart in Excel, you can refer to this tutorial to understand how to create such an interactive dynamic chart using Microsoft Excel. My name is Chandu, by the way, and I normally talk about Excel or Power BI on my channel. But this is one of those rare occasions where I'm talking about PowerPoint. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you want to see more of these kind of PowerPoint videos, let me know in the comments below. As always, stay awesome. Bye.